He's trying to turn right from the left lane. What are you doing, dude? He's in the turning lane right now, trying to turn right. Go. Freaking idiot. Go, turn. So you guys haven't heard from me in a week because my phone was uh, reported stolen. <laughs> I was on my way down to Detroit and oh, bump. on the way down, uh, my phone could work. I'm like, why is my phone not working? And uh, I stopped in at T-Mobile and the dude tells me my phone's hot. I'm like, what do you mean my phone's hot? He's like, your phone's stolen. So. <laughs> I ended up uh, getting a hold of the dude that I bought the phone from. Uh, I had to leave it with him because I had to get back to Grand Rapids. I couldn't stay in Detroit. So he took the phone, he fixed it, and it's no longer quote unquote stolen. Basically what it was is the dude that sold it to him, he didn't pay off the phone bill. So the phone was reported stolen because of that. So basically the phone wasn't really stolen. The guy just sold it without it being paid off. So my dude, he just, he switched out the motherboard and it's good now. Another thing I want to mention, I just ordered my intake for my new Accord. I uh, got the Weapon R intake. It was on sale for 177, normally 250. So great deal. I literally could not pass up $177 for this intake. <laughs> Here's the car wash I found. I'm gonna see how good it is. They got the little things to uh, clean out your car too, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully they're not like super expensive or anything and the place works really well. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. So oh, I just took my dollar. So now I have to use my credit card to get a car wash because the machine took my dollar and didn't do anything. I'm thrilled. Come on, pull out. And of course, you know, the, uh, the fuzz buster is going off right after I ran a red light on accident. If a cop pulls me over, I am going to be so upset, it is unbelievable. <laughs> I will be so triggered. Once again, cannot see the light. Right here, clearly in the video footage, you cannot see the light when I'm behind that truck. Not my fault. Alright, just finished up filling up my gas. Oh my god. Right to the left of me is the freaking police. I swear it's like they're following me. But not following me. Anyways, I just filled up my gas tank. Uh, after driving to Detroit and back, so all highway, besides for like the seven miles I drove to the city today, I got a total of 25 miles per gallon. Let's talk about the new Toyota Prius. I don't know if you guys have seen that thing, but here is a, like, a picture right here. It is so hideous. Like, it looks so depressed and emo. The back of it, the taillights, are horrendous. Whoever was the lead designer at Toyota needs to be fired. Because that looks like complete crap. Like, it's terrible. I hate it. While on the other end of the spectrum over at Honda, their new Civic looks on point. Like, whoever designed a Civic, good job to you. You deserve a raise. Because that stuff is on point as the kids would say these days it is on fleck or on fleek i don't know i don't keep up with that but man does that thing look nice i love it especially the type r but the type r is like in a whole nother ballpark that thing is just whoo <laughs> nice ups where are you at <laughs> Me and my 
my kitty cat waiting for UPS to show up with my intake. What the hell? I swear to God, if UPS... Hold on. If UPS just went past my house and didn't drop off my package, I swear to God. Deep, deep. Webinar. Oh! I am so excited. Let's get this bad boy open. Baby, so excited. Here it is. The holy grail. Open. Oh, I'm turning like the TV down. It's like blaring over here. TV. Hey. Here it is. This is the filter. Look at this thing! Compared to my head, it's huge! Whoa! This is the cold air thing. This is the tube for the cold air, okay? So, I say myself in the face. This, this right here is normally $50 extra, okay? So, for the intake itself is $250, plus this is another $50. So, it's usually $300 for all this. I got this for free. I paid $177 bucks and the cold air adapter came with it for free. I'm so excited. This is great. Oops. Stay on the pipe. Open. Look at it. So nice. All right, peeps. Today is the big day. I'm going to be installing the intake on my car. Just uh, I'm gonna go up to the bakery up the road, I want to grab a coffee because it's kind of cold out. It's about 36 degrees right now, so it's a little bit chilly. It might rain, it might snow, so I'm just kind of preparing myself. Yeah, I'm being festive today. I got my hat on. I have a slight dilemma. One of my legs broke off. I got my large coffee, it's only a dollar 25. All right. It's so cold outside. I still red my faces. Whew. Time to install the webinar intake. Yeah. issue here if you look there is that it's a uh, pretty stripped that one where do you go that one down there is not bad that one over there wherever it's at that one's not bad that one's not bad but this one is like stripped like crazy fuck <laughs> I got some gloves and I got a socket set that has the size I need also, I'm gonna go, hold on. So there was a, uh, this dude drove past me and I swear to God, I thought someone was stealing my car. <laughs> you see the blue Honda Accord Coupe? <laughs> I straight up thought the dude was stealing my car. <laughs> it's great. 
So, oh my, what am I doing? Hold on, one second. I forgot. I went to a mechanic I know, and uh, I was like, hey, how's it going? He's like, oh, you're not driving your old white Honda. You know, the one's all beat down. I'm like, no, I'm not driving it, and that car is great, but <laughs> like, I got a new one. He's like, yeah, this one doesn't look as bad. I'm like, no, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. I'm like, so do you guys do like aftermarket intakes? He's like, technically, no, because it's illegal, but He's like, since I know you, I'm like, okay. He's like, let me see how long it's supposed to take, blah, blah, blah. He's like, it's like a two hour job. I'm like, two hours to do an intake? I'm like, you're out of your mind. I'm like, it takes like half hour, 45 minutes to do an intake. It's not two hours. He's like, that'd be 160 bucks. I'm like, 160 bucks. You're joking, right? Because I paid 177 for the intake and I'm not gonna pay it again to have a cold air and I mean to have the intake installed I'm like that's nuts like I was thinking like 40 bucks you know like have the intake installed just so I wouldn't have to stand out in a freaking cold but I got the stuff I need we're good so yeah all right so I got the old intake off uh this is still there though I can't get it off because I don't have a tool for this so that's gonna stay there for a moment until I can figure out whether I need to get rid of it or not but uh, yeah, it's my progress so far. I am a moron because that popped right off. <laughs> it's almost finished. A couple more, uh, get out of here. <laughs> All this stuff in the battery and intake, it's almost finished. Just uh, a couple more final steps and it'll be Oops, a couple more final steps and I'll be good to go. I'm excited, guys. All right, so it's in there. All I gotta do now is just connect the battery and I'll be good to go. All right. That was, that was a little bit cold. All right, so you probably can't hear anything right now. Oh, wow. The red light here is actually like red now. Usually it's just blinking. I mean, the good thing is I don't have any like check engine lights or anything going on the only thing I do got going on is uh, my clock doesn't work <laughs> I gotta reset that because I took my battery out and stuff so oh it's turn I want to open it up all right here's the highway here we go Sounds nice. I like it. 